Praise be to Allah, the creator of all creations. He exists without a place and does not need any of his creations. We ask Allah to raise the rank of our dear prophet. Dear listeners, join me for some factual insight about the sacrifice of Eid al-Adha, otherwise known in Arabic as Al-Udhiya. Eid al-Adha is one of two major annual festivities on the Islamic calendar. Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam instructed the nation to celebrate its days, as is mentioned in the hadith that means, the day of Arafat, on which sacrifice becomes due, and the following days of Tashriq are our festive days. But the pilgrim continues fulfilling Hajj rituals, including obligations and recommended deeds, for the next three days of Tashriq in worship to Allah the Exalted. One of the highly recommended deeds is for the pilgrim to offer a sacrifice with the intention to gain rewards only from Allah the Exalted. When done in a valid manner, it is known as the Udhiya. The Udhiya, the sacrifice, is a name used for what is slaughtered from the camels, cows or sheep on Eid al-Adha day, seeking the reward from Allah the Exalted. Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam used to practice the Udhiya regularly. In fact, Imam Muslim narrated from the root of Anas, may Allah reward him greatly, that when the Prophet, peace be upon him, slaughtered two rams with horns, he slaughtered them by hand and said, Bismillah, Allahu Akbar. Clearly, it is a sunnah deed that both the pilgrim and the non-pilgrim can practice and have been for centuries, and this is evidenced in the meaning of the ayah Perform their Eid prayer and offer a sacrifice, seeking reward from Allah. Also, Lady Aisha related that the Prophet ﷺ said what means, Purify yourself by offering a sacrifice. And know that every Muslim who offers a slaughtering, seeking Allah's reward, will earn rewards even for the blood it sheds, the digested food in its stomach and its wool, rewards that will be presented in favor of that Muslim on the Day of Judgment. To earn these rewards, you have to make a valid slaughter, and that requires you to observe certain conditions. Among them is to slaughter after the setting in of the time of the Eid prayer, and that's the 10th of Dhul Hijjah, and before the sunset of the third day of Tashriq, being the 13th of Dhul Hijjah. This Udhiya is not valid if you do it before its due time. This is supported by the hadith narrated by a shaykhan. They are the two prominent narrators of hadith, al-Bukhari and Muslim. And the hadith means, the first matters we perform on Eid day are praying, then slaughtering. Whoever performs these matters in this order has fulfilled the sunnah of offering a sacrifice, Udhiya. And the one who slaughters before that time has merely presented meat for his family, not the specific Udhiya sacrifice. It is important to be aware that it is not permissible to sell any part of the Udhiya, including the meat, skin, fat, horn, wool or other. And this applies to the Udhiya that is performed as a fulfillment of a vow or voluntarily. It is also not permissible to give the skin or the like to the slaughterer as a fee for his service.